Good morning on this nice snowy morning, although I am very disappointed it's not more than just a couple inches. Yes, I am pouting, so that's okay. All right, so we are on our very last ornament. If you have kept up with this, you have 12 ornaments to hang on your tree. And if you haven't, you still have 11 more months to get them done for Christmas this year. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I've enjoyed putting this all together for you and seeing the results and hearing those of you who have been stretched, who have learned through the process, and who have really enjoyed it. So today's ornament comes from snowing, snowing, sewing snowman. I have snow in the mind. And this is the spool snowman, and he is so cute. I think I've probably said all of these are my favorite, but I would have to say this one is about the cutest. I love the measuring tape ribbon at the bottom. I think that just sets him off perfectly. And all three ornaments on this um, section, they all have the measuring tape on them. And there's a thimble and another spool of thread. But by now, he is not going to surprise you with any special stitches. So this is what your kit is going to look like when you get it. You've got your background. That's your biggest piece of the white. And then you have this modeled cream that um, is for the, the body of the spool. This tan is for the bottom part of your spool. The red herringbone, that's just the solid red, is for the pincushion. And then the other red that's got the black in it, that's for your pincushion also. This skinny little piece of black is for the top of your spool right here. And then your green is for the top of the pincushion. You have one new skein of floss because you've not used this color before. Your piece of ribbon. Your buttons. You've got four buttons. And your twine for the hanger. Now, the only, there's only two stitches in this one. You have your blanket stitch, which is around all of your pieces. And then his mouth right here, you may think that's a little complicated, but all it is is two rows of a chain stitch. And then your little um, straight stitches on either side of his mouth. And that's it. So by now, you should be able to whip this little guy out in no time at all. Like I said, he's one of my favorites. So have fun making him. And you have a book now that has a bunch of other ornaments that you can make to go along with these. So you could really fill an entire tree with these wool ornaments. So I've been thinking, we have Birdie's Year that starts next month, which is kind of a, a bigger project. And it may scare some of you who are just beginning in wool. So I've been kind of thinking about that, toying around with some thoughts and ideas. And I've come up with two options. We will still go ahead and start Birdie's Year in February. We do still have spaces in that, so if you're interested in doing that, you can do either 12 small wall hangings or you can do a full quilt. So those are the options that you have with Birdie's Year. It's entirely up to you what you do. I'm not going to say you have to do it one way or the other. It's whichever one you want to do. Um, I've been giving some thought to smaller projects that would be along the same lines as the, the ornaments. However, I can't decide. I've kind of taken a poll here in the office and it, it's, it's going both ways. So I need your help. If you want a second option in wool, I would be happy to do one, but I need you to tell me what you want to do. I have um, discovered just the other day, 
They are six and a half by nine and a half oval. They call them mug rugs, but you can use them for a candle mat or really whatever you want to use them for. And they are adorable. They are from Shabby Fabrics. And that would be one that we could do for 12 months. Or we can do 12 pin cushions. I have kind of mapped out which pin cushions I would do. Now, as I was looking at them, you can use them for pin cushions or they're small, probably no bigger than I like that. I'm not sure what the measurements are, but you could also use them for bowl fillers. If you've got just someplace you need to stick a little something, this would be perfect for that. So those are your two options, either the oval mug rugs or the pin cushions. And what I want you to do to help me out here, because I would do both of them, but I don't want to stress you guys out too bad. Um, it's very doable to do them in a month. And there's probably not a ton of pieces to them. So it's not like you'll be chasing pieces of wool all over the place. Let me know in the comments of this video whether you would like to do a series of mug rugs or a series of pin cushions. And then I'll take that into advisement and see what you all want to do, and then I'll make it happen. So if you're interested, if you have friends interested, just put it in the comments, and then um, you'll have to give me a few months to get it put together and get our, our wool in and, and all that that we need to do. But we'll kick this off and get it going. So let me know. And if not, I'll miss you guys because we won't be getting together every month talking about a specific wool project. I will have the Birdie's Year people. I don't know how many of you guys crossed over and decided to do Birdie's Year, but I think I've got some new people. So I'll be making nice. new friends. But I want to keep you guys going in wool and keep, uh, keep that interest up. Keep your fingers going, keep your scissors going, keeping all that going. So let me know. Enjoy this snowy day. Stay in and stitch if you can. I was hoping we'd have enough snow that we all could stay home and stitch, but nope, here we are. So it's been fun to be with you for this last year doing ornaments for our trees, and uh, we hope you continue in wool. So let me know what you want to do next. Have a great day.